And hey, well this is Francisco from One to Sure Mobile Trends, and it's finally October and we finally have the iPhone 12. So how many of you are planning on upgrading? Anyway, every time I upgrade to any new phone, I always come across some hiccups, especially for Android users like myself, and this is especially true when transferring over WhatsApp messages. But today, that is exactly what I will be showing you how to do, and this will be from Android to iPhone. And so, let us go ahead and dive right in. First of all, I wanted to say that if you try to transfer WhatsApp data from Android to iPhones via backups, then that's just not going to work. And to be more specific, if you back up your WhatsApp chats to Google Drive, for example, on Android, then you won't be able to restore those messages to your iPhone just like that. It is a little bit more complicated than that. So I will be walking you through three different methods of getting this done. And method number one is going to be through our own mobile trans software. And you will find the download links in the description if you end up needing them. And then once you've already downloaded it, just go ahead and launch it and then plug in both your Android and iPhone devices. From the menu here, just go ahead and choose the WhatsApp feature and choose WhatsApp messages from those two devices. The software is going to automatically detect both phones and it's going to mark either one as, as either the source or the destination. So make sure that your Android phone is the source here and that the iPhone is the destination. And click on start in order to begin the transfer process and then keep in mind that if you already have any new chats on your iPhone, then they will be overwritten by the ones that are on your Android phone once the transfer is finally done. And once it is all done, you should be notified that it has indeed been completed and that you have successfully done everything correctly. And, and from here, you're pretty much good to go and you can check back on your phone to make sure that all of those messages are actually there. And now, while you can't directly transfer WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone by taking its backup, there is something else that you can do. WhatsApp lets you email yourself any conversation you'd like, kind of in text form. So it won't be transferred to your WhatsApp account, but you will still have a record of your conversation in your emails. To do this, just go ahead and launch WhatsApp on your phone and then open any conversation you'd like and tap on more and then choose email conversion. And you can choose to keep a media like pictures and videos and that were sent, uh, but you can also choose not to and it's probably better if you just want to save some space. And you can finally go ahead and, and email it to yourself, for example, or somebody else, just like that. Now you have the entire conversation available to you to read. And now you can only read through these and they will not be found on your WhatsApp at all. I just wanted to remind you of that, that it's not going to be a direct transfer from your WhatsApp to your other WhatsApp. This method is mostly recommended if you just want to save keep a few conversations and not your entire catalog, for instance. And before we move on to our last method, I actually wanted to give you guys a couple of tips when it comes to transferring your WhatsApp data. And number one, even though you can't directly restore Android backups on your iPhone, it is better to maintain a backup regardless. This will make sure that you always have a copy of your conversations for future reference. Number two, the local backup of WhatsApp chats are saved on the device's storage option, and then go ahead and click on WhatsApp and then database and if you want, you can access this file whenever you want and move it to any other storage space if you so choose to. And now three, and just make sure that you're using the same phone number on both devices. If not, and then just make sure that you use the change number feature on WhatsApp beforehand. And now for our last method. If you're going to be changing your phone number while making a switch, and the WhatsApp actually has you covered. A lot of people fear that they would no longer be able to access their backup when they change numbers. And the first thing that you want to do is just go ahead and swap out the SIM cards from the old one to the new one on your Android phone first. And to make sure that both numbers are actually active on each SIM. And I'll launch WhatsApp and go onto your settings, accounts, and then change number. You just go ahead and read the instructions in order to switch numbers, and then WhatsApp is going to guide you through it, then click on next. And go ahead and enter your existing and new phone numbers now that are respective to your phones. A unique code is going to be sent to the original number and that you need to enter in order to get access onto your account. And that's it. 
And we just went through quite a lot today, so I would really appreciate it if you left us a like and share the video with others as well. And also leave a comment down below about your favorite method or if you have any questions about these uh, because we will do our best to answer. And also do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more content and more tutorials moving forward. With that said, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Enjoy.